Hello, welcome. I'm Emily. I am filming five videos today and in every video I <laughs> I make excuses for my appearance. I know it's it's silly, but I have to because my hair is newly dyed and I look a bit strange and my <laughs> my eyebrows are newly dyed as well and the color has stuck into my skin so they look bad and my my makeup is like wearing off. I'm so dry here in my on my forehead. Hopefully you don't care about that. Uh, this is my empties and my news, and I don't have much of each. More uh, empties than news, which is good. I'm putting my basket here, and I'm gonna go through them. And I I'm not. Uh, I have more empties actually that I'm not gonna show you because they are in other. In projects that I haven't updated so they will have to wait for next month and I am late today it's is the 10th it's not going to go up the 10th but they will have to wait for next month that's how I do it so some hair care or maybe just one and I have some garbage in here too uh, so <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Batiste dry shampoo. Uh, it's back again in my rotation. This is the fruity and carefree pink pineapple. Smells nice. I like this a lot. Uh, it's just that my sca scalp don't don't like it, so I get small pimples in my scalp. But I don't care. I <laughs> I like this this too much to not use it. And if, if I don't use it, I have to wash my hair every day. And I don't want that. So I use that every other day. And um, yeah. That's that. Um, we have some body care. I think here. We have this. Biotherm. Biotherm. I think it's Biotherm. Because it's a French uh, company. I guess. It's the um, hydration 48 hour. Uh, anti-drying body milk. I love this. This is so good. It smells like oranges or something. That's not the, the thing that I like the best. It's fine, but it's the consistency. It goes into the skin so nicely. It's kind of liquidy, but it's liquidy in a good way. I think it's good all year around. And it, it was a long time I used that, so it was nice to use a bottle of that again. Uh, you can often buy them in two packs. They are a bit expensive, but yeah, I like them. I have the Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub in Moroccan Rose here. Uh, the first uh, body scrub I used from this brand. It's very expensive here in Sweden. Um, I liked it a lot. The scent wasn't my favorite. It was a bit intense. And I like rose scents, but this wasn't the best, I don't think. I have two more of these, so we'll see what I think about the other scents. And then there's a bit of garbage here, <laughs> so I can't see my empties. Um, I have a deodorant here. I, I'm not sure why. I don't usually show you deodorants, but I, I think I did last time too. Uh, but I might as well talk about this because it's here. Uh, it's the Nivea Pearl and Beauty and I don't like that it's in a glass bottle. It wasn't enough for me. I sweat a lot and yeah, it's not the best. Maybe in the winter, in the winter time it works better. Then we have some skin care and a long hair. Um, not from me, I don't think. It was darker. We have this, the Ritual of Namaste Skin Brightening Face Exfoliator. This grew on me. Grew on me. Um, it wasn't harsh and that's good for your face. I had it in the shower and I kind of liked it. It was actually pretty nice. So, yeah. And we have this one, uh, Morning Expert Hyaluronic Serum from This Works. I'm working on one of these again because I had two. It's fine, but it's too runny to be in a tube, uh, which is a bit annoying. And yeah, 
I don't know, it's too expensive to buy again. I got those for free or in a box or something. We have this little sample from, from Claire's, the Midnight Blue Calming Cream. This was nice. Uh, I don't think I'm going to go out and buy it, but it was nice. And we have, the rest is makeup actually. A few samples first. The Touche Eclat uh, Le Teint from Yves Saint Laurent. A foundation in the shade Sand. I like this. I did. I think I, I tried it before, but maybe I'm going to buy it someday, we will see. And I tried these samples from Charlotte Tilbury. I can't have an opinion because uh, there it was so... <laughs> there was two small samples of each shade, so I mixed them together and I still needed to mix it up. Uh, the darkest shade I use as a bronzer. Uh, and yeah, no, I don't know. Then we have the Urban Decay All Nighter, which I liked a lot. I always have one of these and I have to buy more soon, I think. Or no, I have one that I'm using and one more. So it's uh, the other uh, face spray, not setting spray, but more of a moisturizing, hydrating spray uh, is the MAC Fix Plus. I always have that too. And that's, I hope I'm on my last one. So yeah, like a lot. And we have this one, the Paese uh, High Rise Powder. This wasn't my favorite. The scent was strange. It smelled like smoke or something. It's hard to describe. And it was more like a powder foundation than a powder. It was a bit thick and cakey and it was a bit dark for me in the winter but i used it up and i'm very proud of myself for <laughs> doing that then we have this one the catrice stylo eyeshadow pen in the shade uh, brown to earth i think it's called yeah this one my last of these i had four and now i have none uh, this these were good to, as a base, I always use products like that, this like a base. And now I'm using something else which doesn't work good at all when I'm sweating, but this was great. So we will see. Um, and I have a few more to use up before I can buy anything. The last empty I have is from Estee Lauder, the Double Wear Light SPF 10. In desert beige my favorite favorite foundation that is no longer existing very sad about that i have tried lots of found lots i have tried a few foundations and i haven't found anything that is as good as this one yet i'm gonna cut this open and then throw it away but i wanted to show you this in full in its full glory <laughs> like it a lot so that was my empties and I have a few news also. You have seen this before, but I showed you six of these uh, Colourpop palettes. I bought a few for a friend of mine and my friend was here and she picked out two of them. And I ha had another friend over at the same time and she picked one. So I will keep these for now. I think I will keep the blue and the green. Uh, the neutral one, I hoped that someone wanted that uh, because I'm not sure I want to keep it, but I will keep it for now and then maybe give it away to someone. The neutral one is called Feeling Toasty and I have a lot of these warm tones, uh, warm tone neutrals, so I really don't need this. One of the ones that I gave away uh, was more of a cool tone. I like that. A lot but I wanted them to have the ones they wanted to so I'm going to keep it in this one but I, I'm counting it in my collection it's it's in my collection these two I'm gonna throw away the packaging uh, the first one is called blue velvet I hope I like this one um, it looks nice I have a lot of blues that isn't so nice, so hopefully that is. And the other one is called Super Bloom. 
I think these are the ones that was for Tarte, not Tarte, um, Alta, no, not Alta, um, what am I saying? It was for, but it wasn't, so I don't need to say that because I am wrong. I think it was a collaboration with the store, but I, I'm, I'm not sure. I don't know why I say tart, but the, the green one looks like this. What is the one I'm... <laughs> ah, was, I thought it was these two, these three, because they did it see-through to, uh, to be suitable in a, like a drugstore or something. But I can't see it here. Okay. It doesn't matter. Um, so, the green one. I don't more need more greens, but now I have one more. So those three are going in. I have one more palette. I got a suggestion for a good, was it green blue palette? I don't remember what I was asking for, but I bought the Ciate, Ciate the editor palette in this box here. I haven't swatched it yet or anything. Uh, my fingerprints are on it already uh, but this is yeah I, I guess I asked for a blue and green one because I did um, I had a green and blue one that I didn't like so I uh, destroyed the whole palette and kept the shades to try out one one at a time and see if I want to keep them but this seems uh, like a nice one uh, we will see what I think about it when I try it. It is like two greens, one, two greens and two more in the middle of green and <laughs> blue turquoise and two, actually three blues, I think. We will see, maybe that's a green too. Uh, so that's fun to try. I don't have any palettes before. From Ciate. And the last new product was something I bought because it was when I bought something else. I don't remember, but it was cheap. So I bought the Essence Cranberry with Tinting Effect Lip Oil. And it looks like scary, but it, I'm, I'm sure it's not. It's maybe not even. Yeah, it's see-through. Like, is it even... Yeah, a little pink tint to it. And it smells nice. So that's that. Uh, so these I bought, I think, in the beginning of the year. I don't remember. But so only two came in now. Two things. That's pretty good. That's it. Have you tried anything of these, these products? Uh, have you thoughts about them? Let me know. And please subscribe if you haven't. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.